Live from Studio 3K in Rockefeller Center, you're watching Sports Final on NBC for New York. Here's your host, Bruce Beck. The Hofstra basketball team is not only hot, they are sizzling. The Pride has won 16 consecutive games. It's the longest winning streak in the nation. At 19-3, they have taken the local college basketball scene by storm. And joining me tonight in the studio is head coach Joe Mahalik and two of the stars of the Pride, Justin Wright Foreman and Eli Pemberton. Guys, welcome and congratulations on this awesome start. Joe, how would you describe this streak? Yeah, it's, 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 it's surreal. It's been great. It's one of my assistants. I guess is how, Duke's, how Duke feels all the time. But, <laughs> but it's, it's been great and it's been fun to be with these guys. We're enjoying every day. We know it could end the next game. We talk about that. And uh, we're just enjoying ourselves and, and we're happy that, uh, that we're able to have some success. Justin, there's a target on your back now. Do you welcome that? We definitely welcome that. We go into every practice and every game as, as, as that. So we just work very hard just to try to stay on our game. So that's the most important part. You're averaging 26 points per ball game, third in the nation. When you go out there, do you believe every one of those three-point shots is going down? <laughs> Definitely. I, have, I just have great confidence in myself, and I work hard extremely every day, especially working with this guy right next to me. He, he's just in uh, insane work as well, so he keeps me going, so does my team. Eli, when you see this guy with the ball in his hands, do your eyes light up too? Do you know that it's going to go down? I'm telling you, every time that I see Justin play, it's magic. Uh, I say that a lot, but uh, Justin, every time he has the ball, I know he's going to make a great play for himself and the team. Um, this guy is the best scorer I ever played with, and uh, it's just an honor to be playing with him. Joey's got 1,950 career points. You've coached a lot of different guys over the years with a lot of talent. Where does he rate? Uh, as good as anybody, and, and I've been around some, lucky enough to be around some great ones with a guy named Lionel Simmons at Lascaux scored 3,000. He's getting close to Speedy Claxton. I, I think that's why Speedy... That's your assistant, that's Coach. Right. Speedy keeps saying, take him out, he's tired. But, but, uh, but we're going to leave him in there and, and see him uh, you know, hopefully get past, get past Speedy and keep on going past uh, a couple other guys. Eli, what is working right for this team? Because when you win every game and you haven't lost in two months, you've got to have a lot of things clicking. Absolutely. Um, it starts, everything starts in the locker room. Our brotherhood is what uh what drives us every day and start from the start of the season especially when we came in through the summertime we kind of knew what it was and how close we bonded so quickly and everybody has a different personality but we gel so great together uh, that's a credit to the coaches for recruiting such great guys and they just make it easy you know everything going right you should be one to speak a 90 footer against james madison the other night this this was in no one was watching eli look at this shot were people thinking it was halftime <laughs> honestly um i have no idea i just got it turned through the shot and uh um, nothing but the bottom nothing but the bottom. justin what were you guys thinking i was thinking we about to go into halftime and once i seen the ball going i said oh my god does it count joe how do you rate that shot i didn't say until I saw the video. I, I was just <laughs> glad they didn't score uh, and uh, didn't think we'd even have time to take a shot. And, you know, Elijah had set presence of mind to, to heave it up there and see what happens. And good for, good for him. It went in. Good for us. Let's go into Justin. What a season. 26 points per game. 4.7 rebounds. 76 assists. 19 steals. You have had an unbelievable stretch of 75 consecutive games in double figures. When you go out there representing Hofstra on the court, what's your philosophy? Uh, just to represent the university as well as I can. Uh, you know, it's a team sport, so definitely, like I said, my teammates just keep me going every day, and I, I, I pay attention to a lot of that stuff, but I just want to win. How much pride do you take in filling out the stat sheet, doing all those things? 19 steals to this park this year, four times the CAA Player of the Week this season. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I'm extremely blessed and honored. I would like to thank God for all, all the achievements that I have. Um, you know, like I said, my teammates just keep me going and keep me level-headed. My coach just stays on me to be the best player I can be every day. Joe, on the road, these were two tough games this week, and I thought you just handled them nicely. And yesterday was a game where, you know, you could have gotten caught. Sometimes they call these trap games. But how do you keep that focus knowing the streak is going on and everyone's chirping about the yeah, streak? Yeah, uh, well, we're motivated by the streak because we've talked about it. I've said before, we don't. We don't let this be the elephant in the room. We talk about it, and, and uh, you know, we talk about trap games, and right. we talk about the fact that everybody's after us, and everybody's rooting against us, and, 
What, what makes this team special is, is that they care a lot about each other. Well, there's much more of a, of a want to than a have to. You know, we've all been around go, oh, I have to do this. Our wives tell us we have to take the trash out, right? Right. <laughs> but these guys want to be out there and get the extra shots and get in the weight room and, and be better players. And they also want to be with each other. And that's when you have a team sport and guys like being together, they, they, you're going to have some good success. Eli, 84-61 to 61 over Towson yesterday. What motivated you yesterday? Yesterday, just um, doing what we got to do, just listening to the scouts and um, doing what we, ha what we have to do on that court. Um, with these guys, I think it's easy just to step out of there, and we never get out of our comfort zone, knowing that we have that streak. But um, we just, we just want to win. That that's what it comes down to. And Justin, you've got to win in the conference. That's the big thing, especially in a one-bid league. It will all come down to those three days at the end of the season where you're trying to get to March Madness. How do you approach this stretch? When you look at the standings right now in the Colonial, you've got a comfortable lead, but you know you've got to play the tournament at North Charleston, March 9th to 12th at the Coliseum down there. And that means a challenge of winning three games on the road. No, uh, definitely. We, 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 take, uh, we take great pride in that, especially playing on the road because uh, we preach every day tough teams win on the road. So our goal when we go down there is just to, just to win those games. Joe, when you think about the postseason, is it too far away to think about that? I think it is because we're, we're so – the reason we've been successful, we've, we've gone – a little bit of a cliche, we've gone one game at a time. That's all we're thinking about is our next game because we know they're waiting for us. They can't wait to play us. The other nine teams in the league are rooting against us. And we're going game by game. And then when we get to March, we get to March. And we just, we say all along, we want to be a team in March that can have a chance to win the tournament. And the way things are going right now, if we can keep improving, we can be a team that can win the tournament. Eli, you've got to mention some of your teammates here because it's really been a team effort. When you look at the 19-3 record, the perfection at home, 9-0 and in the conference, it's all about the unit. Absolutely, and it starts with every guy, one through 14. Uh, we have a great point guard at DeJour Bowie. Every time he's in the game, he, he has us in control. Um, Tariq Coburn, just an energy guy, grabbing offensive rebounds and just gets us going, especially with his defense. And Jaquiel Taylor, he's just, he came in right after Rokas Gusties and he's just been handling his business. And um, everybody, even on the bench, from Kenny Wormley down to Connor. So um, these guys just keep us going every day. Justin, is Eli going into broadcasting when this is over? Because when I went out there earlier this year, same thing. He likes to chat, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's such a well-spoken guy. He's such a nice guy both on and off the court. So it's just a credit to how he was raised and just the type of person he is. We're not going to let him go into broadcasting until he's <laughs> not done yet, with us. Not right? yet. <laughs> we need it for a couple more years. Joe, 15 <laughs> seconds or less. What can we expect from the pride the rest of the season in your mind? Well, you can expect us to keep doing all we can to, to, to keep the streak alive, but more importantly, to keep Keep working to be a team, like we've already said, that can, that can win it all in March. Guys, thanks for so much. Congratulations on the success. And go get them when you get to March Madness and that stretch. I hope you get there, right? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Great you. to be Thank here. You. Thank you. Great to have members of the Hofstra University basketball program in the studio tonight. The team is 9-0 and in Colonial Athletic Conference play. Their last defeat was on November 24th at VCU. They're enjoying their own Sweet 16, 16 straight wins.